G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to the CB250 Budget Bike Build episode... 22. 22? 22. 22. We've 22. Been through it. 22. <laughs> um, so what we've got to do, uh, we've made some headway with the uh, light protector and we also got the we've new got the brake switch. Brake switch. Yeah. So, so we'll fit that and might play with the, with the headlight protector. Cool, let's get into it. Right, yeah, so this is the remnants of the old one. It basically exploded, and this is the new one. So we've got to put that with that screw, and we're done. Right, yeah, now just, just for shits and giggles, this switch, and hopefully you can see that, there's a switch there. When you activate the, the lever, it pushes that down. When I was playing with the other one, it was all pulled apart. I couldn't work out why it was like you'd press it in and it would turn shit off. And I've just, the reason why, uh, Matt, you can come down on here. So this, this switch sits in behind there so that when you press that, that actually comes away. So in actual fact, that switch is pressed in the whole time until you pr uh, do the lever and then releases it. So it's a reverse switch. Would you agree? Yes, that is accurate. Brilliant. Rightio, let's get some light in there. <sighs> oh, where is it going? It's not going there, it's going up there. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so those prongs should be facing that, that. way. If I remember rightly, because that's where that little cable is. Sorry, bro. That, yeah, see, yeah. yeah, I can see that. Um, hold up. But if that goes that way, that switch is... Oh, on the wrong So, chuck it upside down. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah. no, I got you now. That's my bad. I just went the complete wrong way on it. Oh, God. This is so fidgety. Yeah, so this replacement one, guys, was oh, um, bloody hell. nearly, it, it wasn't quite identical, but I could see the profile uh, oh, was pretty much the same. Now, we'll notice here that this is the JIS screwdriver. So, Matt, can you feel the positive connection to that screw? Not really, because I'm doing it on an angle, because <laughs> that's in the way. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. That's the spot that... Oh, can I get it? Oh, yeah. it's still not much better, honestly. Uh, I'm still on an angle. But... Yeah. but that, yeah, really makes... I was surprised. Like, you look at that screwdriver head, and it doesn't look that much different. But... Um, when you yeah, do the screws, it, it really, like you can feel yeah. it. Yeah, well, if I've got, oh. yeah, that's, yeah, that's that, in there. That is, yeah, and that's, I actually, I undid those to get the bloody, yeah. Yeah, like, that is solid. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Yeah, who would have thought? You're working on Japanese bikes with lots of screws. Yeah, get yourself one of those. Yeah, J, make sure it's J-I-S, which is the Japanese industry, industry standard, standard, I think. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Interesting. So that's on? That is oh, and then we just got to put just plug it back put in. Those, yeah. yeah. Hold on, two seconds. Oh, one. Oh. All right. Yeah. See what happens. All right. Are you ready to see if this works? Moment of truth. Tail light. Oh yeah! Brilliant. Look at that. And then the foot brake. Brilliant. Yeah, we definitely need to adjust that though. That doesn't come on to a long way down. Yeah, I've got to adjust that. Because obviously when I was playing you around... really... Where is it? It's so hard to... Oh, it's this bloody... I don't know if you can see that. This bloody wire thing in here. It, that is a spring. Yeah, it was so fu bloody hard to find where that was. But I ended up finding it. So yeah, I've obviously stretched it. Yeah. I'll have to have play with that. Because that doesn't come on until you're like really on it. No. no You've been locking it. brakes before you get a brake light. <laughs> yeah. But as you know, you know yeah. this, you, we're, we're always doing that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So now what have we got? With the... Uh, might have right. that. Here we go, guys. Protector. This is the protector. I'll get you right up bloody close on it. Yep. So I personally, I like it being that the bike is a clunker a rat rod, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I like that. I think we'll, it will go with the bike. But Matt wants to finesse it, don't you? I think it's too clunky. <laughs> that's that's too... 
So that's all right. Cool. Yeah, two two makeshifts. I'm gonna. Yeah. So that's also, guys. That I've I, after I did all that, um, and I grinded some of it down. Obviously, I just put a bit of paint over it. So yeah. that's not how it turns out after you just. No, it. it is pretty dark though. It is. Start. Yeah, it's not oh, it's that a dark, dark grey. No, yeah. but that. And when you grind it, you get all the. It then gets, has all this white stuff, so it looks real patchy. Yeah. Yeah. So a quick spray, and then yeah. I reckon I can smooth that out. All right. So it. that's your nicer. job for tonight. Yeah. Yep. Cool. We'll see how it go. And this is what we're going to use to uh, to mount it on. Mount it. Mount it onto there, and yeah. then we'll have something like this, and with a bolt and washer, and that should do the trick. Yeah, it should I reckon? We'll see. Cool. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I just want to say that it's somewhat flat. Otherwise, I'll end up doing it and it'll do this. That's toiling away. Doing a bit of hand sanding there. Yeah. Definitely looking better. Oh yeah, it feels better. Yeah. So, a lot of people mentioned on the comments in regards to this um, about I should have cut the um, the wire mesh larger than that ring, so then I could have wrapped and folded that around. Brilliant idea. I just didn't bloody think of it. So, we're getting the job done. Yeah. Well, it means we didn't have to spend money on it. Yeah, well, once it's all done and we've got it mounted, well, actual fact, uh, Wayne, Wayne from Dimbola said you can get them for $13 or something on Banggood, banggood.com, the whole, the whole, sh and in all different sizes. <laughs> and here I am, yeah. sanding away. That's it. But, I mean, this, for me, <laughs> this, this is entertainment. Mucking no, around, it. fiddling in the man, in the man cave. What else would I be doing on a Monday night? Well, that's it. It is Monday, isn't it? It is Monday. Yeah, it is Monday, yeah. Off, off that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. anyway, cool. We'll show you when we're bloody just about got it. Once we've sprayed it. Yeah, so that's what I was saying about that going to the grey colour. Yeah. So, that's good. I can see you exactly can see. where I've been. Yeah, exactly. Righto. These guys, I just made mats for bloody coffee. Look at him. Bloody crazy. Getting all crazy on it. It's coming up really good. I'm surprised. Look, with a bit of black paint on it, I don't think you're really going to notice much. No. It'll just disappear. Bloody up, it? <clears throat> so, obviously, a lot of work. I'm not saying a lot of work. It's not hard. No. It is. Oh, a bit of bloody stuff arsing around. So we were saying it might pick them up for $13 or whatever off bloody Banggood. I'm sure even eBay might have them. Um, yeah, this we'll thing will have cost us um, $26 because the the pot holder and the and the thing were $3 each and the Sally's bloody thing of JB Weld, JB Weld quick metal was shit. 20 bucks for that. I mean, Sally's is an expensive brand. You could most probably get a cheaper one, but... Yeah, you definitely could. Yeah, so but twenty. Also, that wouldn't have cost us anything if ours hadn't have gone bad. Oh, the other we stuff did that I had. Yeah. Stuff, but yeah. Yeah. It was there obviously bad. Stuff. Fun and games. the difference like now you don't now you, if you were to walk back you look small see yeah I'm still small even up here yeah. oh, fuck. We're, yeah, sorry. we're on we're on camera yeah um all right so there there it is guys i'll just try i don't know if this is gonna see it 
It's a hundred percent better than yeah, what it was. Definitely way better. This is still tacky and it's going to dry off, which will make it even look better. So that's it. Matt has done the job on the finessing as much as I could. That's it. Looks so, way better. Yeah, way better. That's it. You're going home to tea. Yep. Now he's got tea on. Um, tomorrow, while well, Matt's working away, yeah, slaving to the man. I'll uh, I'll start rigging up the the doodads to to fit it there. I won't fit it until you're bloody here. Yeah, and yeah. So Go nuts. it'll be tomorrow you for you in a couple of seconds. Cool. Alrighty, yeah, guys. So it's now actually been a couple of days. We've got the fire going here in the man cave. Matt's here. Hey guys. And you'll see there is a big mess all through there. So that is still the same. We haven't, I haven't managed to do anything. And the reason for that is because I've been stuffing around with blinkers. So I said that we had blinkers coming. Got them from MX store, they're ballards and they're like little tiny bloody ones like that. Really whacked them on the back and I'll show you what happened. So blinker there connected straight into the stock stuff, turn on the ignition, put the blinker on, and that's it. A solid blinker, no flashing. So as we know, what's going on there is basically the stock flasher relay unit thing. Um, the power goes through to the blinker, the blinker draws X amount of power, trips a little thing in there to turn it off and then it turns it back on and that's your blinker, 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 blinker. I checked that the stock um, globes were 21 watt. The globes that come in these little mini ones are only 10 watts. So clearly we're not getting enough power down to do it. Yeah. So then we know that we can get the LED flasher units. Hey presto, I got a universal LED from bloody unit which is that thing there um, from jcar i've put this on and didn't do diddly bloody squat nothing now i've done a whole heap of other things and this unit works in no case whatsoever yeah yeah it was just totally yeah, utterly useless and then i thought right I had resistors, so putting resistors in, which was basically adding extra, so you've got the 10 watt with your globe and then you put some resistors in, which makes up the makes difference. Up, yeah, yeah, and then does that. And I went, shit, I had some from six years ago for the DR when I put the ones on the back. And this is what they are. So there was two in a pack. So I added one resistor on. No, nope, didn't bloody work. Far out. Couldn't believe it. So then I thought, all right, I'll go and see if I can get a bigger one. Now this resistor here, which is from Super Cheap, LED load resistor, boom, that's what it is. It says on here, it says it, I can't read it. What does it say? Uh, 12 volt, 21 watt load resistor. Cool, 21 watt, which was what our which globe is, was. Which was. So that should draw 21 watts therefore making that thing trip and do the blinkering. Well, bugger me, it didn't do. But then it did. Oh, then it did. Then it now, did. that's right, cool. Yeah. So, uh, I decided to read the back of this set. I read on the back of here and it actually said in there, in some cases, you may need two resistors for each blinker. So I thought, oh, okay. Join these together, put it in, Hey presto, it worked. But that then meant that, that I meant, have yeah. to have two of these for each bloody blinker. And that's <laughs> it's one, cost a lot, a lot of wiring, and two, it's very expensive. Yeah, and the whole heating up and yeah, all that, and you're having to try and, because like for the front blinkers, all the wires go into the, the headlight, so that was going to be, I'm still recording, yeah, I'll just. Um, so that's when I actually went and got that. The interesting thing between these these have two wires on both sides so it just goes in between whereas this one only has one wire so i just thought oh yeah put it on the uh the positive wire in between and it did diddly squat then we looked at the instructions again yeah i'm learning that i need to look at instructions but i yep. i don't want to and then i explained it to you and you put it in 
And you didn't put it in the way that I explained no, no. it. <laughs> so anyway, we put that in and then it did work. And it did work. It did do the job. It did. But then you still need four of them. I still need four of these and these were quite expensive, like $24. And then there are big bulky bloody jam things in there and whatever. And so then we thought of maybe getting a one of these that doesn't work on the load. Yeah, it's, you can get non-load dependent flushing yeah. units. And they're like $11. Yeah, I think we haven't managed. I, we just looked. We're going to go to super cheap and bloody give that a shot. But <laughs> we've resolved this problem. So the the globes that are in these are just these little wedge push push globes. They just push straight in, pull straight out. And I think that's a T10. 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 The same as the Parkers in your car. Yeah. So these particular ones are 10 watt. All the ones that I could find in this size are 5 watt. But I did find this, which is 18 watt. The base of them are the same size. They're identical, this fits in, but the bulb is longer. If you can see that, it's, it's longer. Double the size. Yeah, it doubles the size, so bigger. But it fits in, so I thought, we'll just whack it in and see what happens. I'll show you. Right, so there it is there. Turn the bike on, put the blinker on, and hey presto, it's working. But the problem with that, grab this out, is that there's the little unit. Go to put this on there and it will not fit because the globe's too big. So what we've come up with is in here, there is a little bit of plastic and we've, I've dremeled that away which has enabled me to push this grommet out the back. Get that back out again to where it likes to, to be. So it's like that. I'll be able to now just seal that up there, but that means that that now goes on there. Problem solved, isn't it? It is. And the globe is nowhere near the plastic no. inside that housing, so we're not going to have any heat issues. Exactly, that's it. We've made sure we're, we're yeah, we've, we've done that. We've covered our bases on that. Cool. Um, simple to just bloody... I was surprised that these didn't actually come with any bolts. There was no attachment stuff. Oh. Yeah, okay. so luckily I've got bolts here, so... Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the four yeah. of these put on. Hopefully might even make a start on that headlight thing. Possibly. Matthew, Matthew. Oh yeah, the... we got mail today. Well, you got mail, I didn't Sorry. even know you did Sorry. it. I got mail because I, I bought things without telling anybody. Because I'm good like that. So we've got a surprise care package today. Oh, I can see that one there. And no, it's not a rear mudguard. No, it is not. That is a very small windshield for the front of the bike. So the plan is, We'll put it on, see what it looks like. If it's any good, we like it, it, it stays, stays on there. If it doesn't, Matt will whack it on the... I'll put it on the Virago, Virago if it looks good on that. If it doesn't, well, then it goes in the parts bin and we use it at a later date. Beauty. All right, we're now just gonna go, I'm not gonna show you us putting the blinkers on because it, it's pretty much straightforward. As, yeah. Pull out the original wires, put the other wires in, and obviously we've got to do all that little modification of the, of the stuff, but yeah, nothing that any... We'll come back to you when it's all done. Rightio guys, so these have all been dremeled, globes are fitting in, jeez don't get in his way, Matt's doing his... I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to touch anything am I Matt? No you are not allowed to touch anything. Jeez, look at that. Tidy. Hey, you do that for a living don't you? I do, I actually <laughs> do. <laughs> So much so that I've worn down my fingertips and they're now all pointed. <laughs> cool, so that'll um, that'll hopefully seal them from water getting in them. Rightio, while well, these clowns are... Uh, Cleaning looking, up your mess. <laughs> <laughs> looking for dropped bolts. Nuts. Dropped nuts. Oh, that's what? Dropped nuts. Oh. So, just quickly showing you, so these are the front blinkers, done, undone them, and then I've just okay. followed the wire from up there 
into the back of the light housing. So that's the one for that right hand blinker. That's the left hand blinker. So now I'll get the new ones and just plug them in exactly the way that they are there. That's as simple as it is, guys. For those that haven't done it before, what do you reckon, Perks? Pretty good? Jeez, I tell you what, that uh, fire is doing real good in here. Rightio, guys, so rear ones are now mounted, connected. Working. And working. Look at that. Brilliant. And yeah, got to say, definitely better than the big bulby ones. Way better than that big clunker there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that you look at it, now, you've yeah, got both, and it's, it's yeah, very clear yeah. they, wouldn't, they couldn't stay. <laughs> All right, so we'll now get the front ones done. Seriously. Shut up. No. Rightio, guys, so we've got the front ones <laughs> semi on. We put one on. Stop barking, little missy. Got that one mounted and plugged in, and then what happened was, we turned the key on, we put the blinker on, and hey presto, we're back to staying on. And then we just tested by putting this one on. Same deal, so. So obviously. Obviously it's not enough. Yeah, and they work as a force, it must be a four system thing, so. 20, uh, 21 watt and 21 watt gives you 42 watts. Yep. And we're six down on that. Cause yeah, because we've got 18. two 18s. So obviously a 21 and an 18 was enough to trip it. Yeah. But two 18s is not. I'll turn that off. Um, so, we're so. so we're back to getting the uh, the non the non dependent flash around. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Bugger. So that's a bugger, but anyway. But we can put the blinkers on and put it back together. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. We'll come back to you guys. We just had a thought, guys, that if this is all working as one, as in one side oh, between the fitting. two, we're going to put in these uh, DRC resistors. We might have to clamp them because that's a very loose bullet uh, connector. Oh. But it'll tell us whether we're right or wrong. So red on to green, black yep. on to... Oh yep. no, hang on. That's that's right. Oh, oh is it? Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to the which same, way. Yeah, they're yeah. going to the right way. I was wires. using green as the black. It doesn't matter. Yeah, right, whatever. Yes. Let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. That works. That works. <sighs> Matt. Happy days. Yep. Absolutely, that's fantastic. Cool. So we don't have to worry about getting anything. We can get all this done tonight. We can, yeah, we can finish it tonight. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, guys. So that's it. Front is on. Give them a bit of a look. See, can't miss that. All working. Back's working. Oops, where are you? Oh God, there it is. Cool. Brilliant. Right, oh, so now we've got to try that um, screen mat. Sorry? Ah! Screen before we do up the. Yeah. Yep. So, guys. Ah! On it goes. What are you barking at, dog? What are you doing? She doesn't even know. No. She wants to hop up on the chair, and then we put her up on the chair, and then she wants to hop down. Alright. You ready? Hop, but easy. There you go. Righto, whack her on. Something like that. Ish. Yeah. It's it's not it's not hideous, I don't think. Yeah. That's probably as far forward as you could go. But I can slink back. Yeah. Alright, well we've, got, yeah, we've lost the nut in the bloody housing, so we've got to pull all this part, bloody fix that. So we'll just attach that on, Matt, properly. Sorry. We'll see if we can get that on properly. 
so we can have a good look at it. Yeah, well, see what the guys reckon. Yeah, go from there. Yeah. Right, we've got an A out here. We've got we've put this screen on. If you can hear some noise, that's the uh, the football. Matt's watching the football while doing this. Yeah. Richmond's playing. Can't not watch. <laughs> um, yeah. So me and Matt are both in two. What did I do? Oops. Both mines about whether we uh, want yeah. that. We're, we're neither sold on it or against it. We're just sitting right on that fence. Well, yeah, we, we all are. Well, what if you were to paint the bolts black for a start? Even if you just sort get some black tape, ways, yeah. put some black tape on just to dull them off to start with. Yeah, I, I don't think that's, uh, that's not, no, I, don't, I, don't I don't think that's making any difference to me. Oh, you don't think? No, so no I don't think it is. No, it's just, it's just having that smooth thing, whereas before we've you know, had the bulby bits behind. Mm -hmm. And then of course we've got that as well. So, and I don't think that makes a difference. No, I don't think it makes any difference either. No. Well, I think that. if that stays, that's going to have to get gloss. Yeah, but I think it'll look better with that and without that in our in our Conco Rat Roddy whatever. I don't know. Just, I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. Just don't know. <clears throat> so guys, what do you reckon? Screen or no screen? So what they say? I mean, it's an easy on off. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, so in the comments, put your bloody what you reckon. It's obviously not done up yet. No, 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 that's all right. It's just, just making sure it didn't have a film on it or anything that was giving it the wrong. No. No. It's just the shape of it. It's, yeah, I don't think that. Yeah. Righto. Righto, guys, so that's it. Matt's got to work tomorrow, yeah. so we're going to call it quits. We're hoping to get that, uh, oh, get this on. So in the comments, tell us yeah. what your deal is. Yeah, we want to know. We've made Where it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. We've made a decision. We, yeah, we know what we're doing. We're not going to say say what we're doing. No, no. But we we want to know what they. they what they? What they? Be. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Want um, definite feedback. So that's got to be mounted. That'll be in the next video. The kickstand needs to be lengthened. We need to lengthen that because it, the sh it leans right over. Yeah, <laughs> because we put the bigger shocks on the on the back. Uh, and what else is there? Um, so that that's it. that maybe or maybe not that. Maybe, we're not saying not. we've made our decision. Uh, I think that's it. So then what we're going to do is. Hey, this is exciting. Yeah, so then what we'll do, so this that'll be the next video, and the next video after that will be us taking it out. Matt will be bloody riding it through Wellsford Forest. Yep. We'll end up at Krusty Demon Pit, get some drone footage, some cool photos of it all as it is. Absolutely. And then it'll be the ramble. And then there's the ramble, yeah. Yeah, the ramble right after that. It'll get put through its paces. Yeah. So will I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, all right. We're nearly bloody finished. Right, oh, guys, remember, Keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep, keep, keep on keeping on. Keep on. <laughs>